All right, welcome back kids. Uh, today we are going to take a look at um, attaching an image uh, to a camera plane. Um, basically this is what I have. Uh, I've taken a, a, an image, just a still JPEG image, and I've attached it to an image plane or to a camera plane and um, created this kind of cool effect. Now this is just a static image and um, you can use an image sequence in here, but for the time being, we're just gonna work with a, a static image. And this is kind of what I get. And you'll notice that there is a really cool thing happening here. I have some transparent shadows down here. Uh, as they go along there, you'll notice that there's some transparency to those shadows. So um, essentially you can assign a movie or a, a, an image to the camera plane and then composite some stuff um, kind of going on in the background. So let's take a look at how we do this. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Here's sort of the scene um, as it looks now. I have basically a new camera that I created and then here's my perspective view. I'll click in here. I'll hit my space bar once and we'll just kind of see what's going on. Um, I have my animation set for about 75 seconds or I mean 75 frames and as I click that, you can kind of see where that rolls through there. Um, basically not too complicated. I just have an image attached to a camera plane and then I have a basic uh, you know, sphere that I modeled into a, a UFO basically. And then I have a, a plane. So that's about it. And here's how we're gonna do it. Um, first, let's look at this perspective view. I'll go ahead and grab some of my tools up here and we can kind of turn around here and you can see where you know, I have the image plane back here, and um, I have a, a plane right here, and uh, essentially it's it's not quite aligned, but that doesn't really matter for the moment, and that's it. So let's take a look at how we get this done, and um, we'll just start a new scene. So I'm going to come up here to File, and I'll just go to um, New Scene, and I don't need to save that, and here we go. We're open here. As I hover here, just hit the space bar once and that goes into your four views. And there's several different ways you can do this. Um, you can assign a image to any of these cameras. Uh, the, we're gonna create a new one for the image. So let's just click in the top view here for the moment. And um, what we're gonna do is come up here into the panels and we're gonna go to perspective um, and we're gonna go to new, okay? And what that'll do is it'll create a new camera. It's right now, it's called Perspective One. Um, I'll just rename this Master, uh, Master, and there we go. So now you can see down here, that's called my Master Cam, and then here's my normal perspective. So that's good. Let's click in this window with our Master Cam right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to View, and we're gonna go to Image Plane, and Import Image. And my image name is called home.jpg. So I'll go to home.jpg and it's right down here. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And as you notice, it gives us that image. Um, this is just basically a JPEG image and um, it has sort of the qualities that I, I need to show you how to do some shadows. So this is what we're gonna be working with. So this is our master cam now. And as you can see, we don't, we can't really see the grid. Um, so in some cases, let's just click, uh, hover your mouse over here and click on the, the main perspective view and maybe go to, um, let's go to this image plane. We're gonna click on here because that image plane is active. You can see the yellow line around here. And what we're gonna do is, is, is placement. We're gonna alter the placement. And um, right here, placement. And we're looking at depth. And right now it's sort of like in front of the scene and we want it more toward the back. So on the depth, let's just set it back to like 400. And as I do that, you'll notice that you see your grid appear over here. And that's cool, that's kind of what we want. So while we have the grid up and we're in the perspective view, let's just create some quick geometry. I'm gonna create that, um, that sphere and I'll just grab the grid. We'll pull up there and go into my shaded mode. And um, I think right now what I'll do with this is I'll sort of squash it a bit. We'll just get the general shape of what, what a UFO looks like. And then I'll just bring it up in size a bit. And that'll give us a, a good solid object to work with. 
And if you grab your tumble tool, you can now tumble around and see that everything looks a little askew. And it'll be like that um, because it's just sort of the initial starting placement. So with um, your, your cursor in here anywhere in the scene, just press your space bar. That'll bring up your master view over here. And let's go into shaded mode for that as well. We can see where it's shaded. And as you're hovering in here, press your space bar, and now it brings up the full view. Let's take a look at altering that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click on my tumble tool, and I'm going to kind of position this in some fashion. For right now, I'll just leave it right there, and I'll maybe give it a little bit different scale. All right, so there it is. Now, I know that I want this object to be moving from the background into the foreground and through the image. Uh, so. I'm just going to move this up a little bit like it would be overhead and um, I'll move it back too. I'm going to kind of just work it back there into the back of the scene and let's find out where it disappears uh, through through the image. So right there is where it starts clipping through the image and what you want to do is basically I, it'll work different for every scenario but for the time being what I want to do is I'm going to bring this out and just kind of have it cruise in from the side. So I might bring that up a little bit. Now as you get this placed over here, you'll notice that the grid is sitting in the middle here. Um, that's okay for the moment, but really what we're looking at here is where the ground is and where we want our shadows to start appearing. And so in the foreground right up in here in the lower third is probably where I want some shadows going on. So that's great, we're just about there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just hover in here, hit the space bar. That'll bring up uh, our perspective view over here. I'm gonna hit the space bar again. And now we can kind of tool around in here and see where everything is at as well. Um, you'll notice that um, we've got that. Let's, let's create a plane real quickly. I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna create a plane. So we'll go to polygon primitive and just do a plane. And I'll sort of just bring it out there and then maybe just scale it up quite a bit. Let's just give it quite a bit of scale. Okay, and now I can grab my tumble tool, move around here a little bit, and you can notice where, you know, you can scroll back and kind of see where that plane is sitting. And um, you kind of want to align it with the, um, with the scene. So I think what I'll do is just bring that plane down a little bit and sort of bring it into the scene where it would be, you know, best fitting down here. And um, in this case, since I just need a plane to show a shadow, I'm going to go ahead and, and sort of turn this plane a bit. So we'll go ahead and grab our rotate tool and rotate that plane a bit. And then I'm just going to bring it out so it kind of covers the scene. And now we can kind of move it around a little bit. Um, that might be too low. I want some shadows to start up about right there. So let's see if that works. So let's grab our tumble tool, cruise over here a little bit, and you'll notice where it still isn't bumping up against the scene. So let's just bring it in. Um, let's see here if I can get that in there. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of wrangling to get everything together. Um, you may have to approach it from a couple of different views and uh, just sort of work with it. Um, it's not that difficult. You can see where things start cutting through. You may not want to clip into the scene like that, so sort of just play with it to try and get it as close as you can. And uh, let's see, yeah, about right there. Um, in this case, it doesn't really matter too much for me because we're just going to be creating a simple shadow on this plane. So there it is. You kind of see the start of it. Um, let's look at our shadow. How are we going to create the shadow? Well, we're going to have to create a spotlight. So I'm going to come up here and just go into um, create, come down to your lights and then create a spotlight. All right, it's sitting down there and what I'll do is just sort of bring that spotlight up. I know that it's directly over the, uh, the plane and this drives me crazy with Maya. I'm going to always have to translate the X value of this spotlight to like negative 90. It should just be like that at default, but it's not. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my lights and you can see where it's it's uh, kind of showing up down there. So let's adjust it a little bit further. 
um, we may be able to take this plane and um, you know scale it out a bit just so we have enough coverage so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna scale this plane out and uh, let's go back here kinda of look at our scene and um, there it is so let's adjust the spotlight a little bit first just so we know that we've got kind of an overhead light kinda of like sunlight would be so I'm gonna come over here into my outliner real quick choose that spotlight and um, go into my tabs and let's find out what this angle is maybe increase the angle so we have enough coverage for for our image and um, you know basically maybe soften up the penumbra a little bit by giving it increasing that a little bit that should work for now okay and also let's uh, let's bring up the um, the intensity just a little bit okay so there you have it uh, I can see where my light is sitting sort of directly above the scene and that's cool we'll bring it up just a little bit more there we go okay so now let's take a look at <clears throat> setting the the uh, this frame timeline at like 75 frames and um, let's animate this really quickly let's just take this guy and let's move it out um, you might want to go up into your attributes up here and just make sure that you're on your sphere that you selected those and let's translate this from say let's um, shift click all of these up here we're gonna translate it so shift click those and then put key all and make sure you're at the frame number one of your animation there and then let's go all the way up to the end and um, let's hover in here press your spacebar see where it is up here let's adjust it a little bit from right here and um, let's see we want it about right there and let's make this uh, cruise through the scene so um, make sure that yeah you're on your frame 75 and go ahead and start bringing this up and like you know I might wanna just sort of make it cruise through like that okay and I'm gonna back off a little bit here bring this out a little bit and kinda leave it right in there okay and then uh, what you wanna do is come back up here right click and then go to key selected all right so that sets us keyframe so now if I press this you'll see where it's kind of moving into the scene it's moving across the ground plane there and it's exiting from the scene okay so we just about have it let's take a look at what this looks like over here um, we want to see what this render looks like so I'm gonna call up my render view and I'm gonna go ahead and hit render and you'll notice where nothing shows up it just looks like there's a an image plane we kinda of see a shadow starting there well what we have to do is set this render view right here we have to come to render and we have to render the perspective uh, actually not the perspective we have to render the master okay so that's what I why I named that master so I'm gonna go ahead and click that master and now I can do a render and you can see where here's our craft and we've got our plane and that's cool for the moment but it's not quite what we want so I'm gonna move this render view aside and let's uh, hover over in this area over here and click the window okay so let's go ahead and bring this forward a little bit more in the scene and let's take another render and see what happens um, of course it's gonna show that right there and we could go over here and hover in here press your spacebar and essentially that's what we're seeing we're rendering the master cam so that's that's what we have I'm using mental ray right now and I might as well just set my um, my uh, render settings on mental ray um, for I think I'll set the men I think I'll set the quality to like production quality just as a start okay so we'll go down to production that should give us a nice clean look let's click on that and you can see where it cleaned up the shadows down there that's exactly what we want okay so now I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna continue this in the next tutorial 
So this is going to be part two uh, coming up, and don't miss it because you're going to need to know this stuff. So thanks for watching. Read a book, and uh, see you for part two.